parenting? Uh, parenting? Uh, I don't even. I will say this: from what I know, Hunter the Gathering and Hunter the Reckoning are a bit different because there was a world-ending event that happened that changed the world up. I don't remember what it was, but it happened for like Werewolf the Apocalypse, Vampire the Masquerade, and a few others. Also, hello, Chrono. I'm sorry that I didn't acknowledge you coming in. You came in when family it's was okay. being. Yeah, yeah uh, parents. There you go. I I came at a very weird time where uh, Fable was talking about cloning. I was thinking yeah. he was ta talking about cloning himself. No, yeah. I don't want to clone myself. No, like, I not? listen. If I, as I've said before, me and me and anyone like from a time vortex or a clone of me, we all have a rule, and we know that rule and what will happen. There can only be one. <laughs> there can only be one true act. so if it's a clone of me they know what to do try to kill you yes and i try to kill them and whoever wins gets the place i feel like oh i feel like if i had a clone of myself i would like have one constantly doing streams and then the other one actually going to work and everything i feel like you two would just fall asleep on the couch here and start eating all the snacks that too probably <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ready, Fable? Yes. In Hunter the Reckoning, you fight against vampiric death bolts, shape shifting rage berserkers, and whatever the hell this is. What the hell? How do yeah, hunters keep what track the hell? of it all? Mushroom man. <laughs> they don't. Oh. Mushroom man. Hunters and larger orgs are at least siloed information, even if it's often unreliable. But True. non aligned hunters most are staggeringly ignorant of what they're up against. I mean, that's because you can't really record that information. You gotta kind of keep it a secret. And you don't really want the general public to know about it because there's a chance that the things you're hunting could learn it. To be honest. Very true. Also, there's yeah. the fact of wanting to keep your family not thinking about the horrors that you're having to fight. Even the most canny hunter can go through yeah. their careers clueless as to the true nature of their foes. Uh, the masquerade. Uh, also, I learned the reason that the, apparently normal hunters think Camilla is the name of the first vampire. It's not. It's Cain from the Bible. They misheard yes, it. Yes, also. I was looking also, over at Twitch. Uh, <laughs> oh. I was looking at, like, who's live and everything. It looks like Shy Lily's live, and she has 777 people watching. <laughs> I wish I could get that many, but yeah. Anyway, going I on. I that was the first funny, vampire. I just, I just want to quickly add that uh, Common explained to me that Kane does have stats. And if you fight him, even if you win, you lose because no, you're not allowed to win. Game just exists and he will wreck your entire life well, and the, your lineage. Well, the whole thing about because, Kane yeah. is that he is <laughs> cursed to walk the earth by God and to force to constantly see his own children murder each other. Just as God had to watch yeah. as Cain murdered Abel. Yep, because he was considered the first murder. Yeah. Grunveld Bach, for instance. Oh. Bach's an inquisitor with the Society of St. Leopold. And loads oh. of crazy stuff is happening all around him. A potential antediluvian, the Ancaran sarcophagus, the encroaching scenes of the Sabbat, the Giovanni, the... the these guys. So who does he zero in on as Doomsday draws close? Prince Sebastian LaCroix, the ineffectual venture Meow Meow in charge of the local Camarilla. Sure, oh. LaCroix is like... bad. On paper, he's real scary. But the truth on the ground is much more complicated. Because Basically, from what I'm getting from that, he is a paper tiger compared to some of the bigger threats going on, and he's focusing on basically the lesser of the evils. Bach is some kind of weird ancestral grudge. He can't see that. And any hunter that follows his example, any hunter who's not completely fastidious in their investigations, runs the risk of missing the forest for the trees. Yes, that's very possible. But yeah, what do you think about that? I, I honestly wish I could play Hunter the Gathering or one of the World of Darkness games because I basically want to be a dude who's like, I suddenly found a super cool sword from my grandfather. I'm going to try and sell it at a pawn shop and suddenly get attacked by a monster. Yeah. Well, uh, Common's thinking of trying to run a Hunter the Gathering game. Oh, that would be fun. But yeah, what I want to do with that is basically... Oh, the... This sword has something in it. Is is that one of the holy nails? <laughs> oh, oh no. Let's pick oh. it up. No, it's like, did you know that this actually happened? We're not sure if it's true, but uh, there was a helmet forged by one of the 
basically people believe that they you know one of the three nails that were nailed into christ is one of the nails that i'm talking about oh okay yeah yeah those are called the holy nails that one of them apparently was forged uh, into a helmet for king justinian uh, or emperor justinian of the byzantines but we're not sure if it was the actual thing but you know it was just said to be the thing yes anyway thank you all so much and we'll see you guys later